I'm Mike Coots. I am a shark attack survivor, photographer, surfer, and shark conservationist. Lost my leg to a shark when I was 18, surfing here in Hawaii, and was out of the water for a few months. And my friends were surfing every day, the waves are great, and I wanted to go to the beach and watch them, and I didn't want to just sunbathe. So I picked up a camera and started taking photos of them. They were some of the best surfers in the world, and I was like, wow, this is really cool. It started from a hobby to an obsession to, to a profession. The biggest challenge shooting photos here in Hawaii is the weather. You have a really tricky time figuring out when you wake up in the morning whether it's going to be sunny, rainy, stormy, or the nicest day of the whole year. But it also makes really great rainbows. It makes surreal, sunshine, cloudy, dramatic backdrops. We have every type of topography you could imagine. It is a photographer's dream living here. I got the EOS 70D recently and I grabbed it and within seconds I had it figured out. That smile, that is beautiful. I love the touch screen. It mimics my smartphone. I can on the fly zoom in, see a surfer is sharp, zoom out, reframe, start shooting again, literally in seconds. I can flip through photos to show somebody on the beach, you know, this was your ride 10 minutes ago. Easily get back to shooting if I see a great wave happening a second later. It is the most intuitive feature that I've ever used on a camera. I love the 19 point autofocus system. You'll get a surfer, you know, nose riding and they're gliding across the wave, dancing on the front of the board. So on the fly, I'll change that autofocus system from one side of the screen to the next. I can lock them in focus, their feet on that nose and not have to worry about it rack focusing. It'll just stay on them and then I can shoot as they go across this wave. It, it works really beautifully. So this flip screen, it's really ideal. I can go and get the camera low and now I can perfectly see whether it's in focus and how I'm framing things. The 70D with the 70 to 300 lens, this is a great combination for traveling. It's versatile, it's light, you've got powerful zoom, you've got a great body with a great sensor, seven frames a second, you have the stabilizer, but it also works great with an L-series lens and, and that glass with the crop sensor, you get really beautiful imagery. I'm able to get a little longer focal length with my lenses that I have, so now I can get a little bit more creative and shoot somebody further down, that's make or break a shot. Look this way, yep, then head back. Beautiful. It was awesome to shoot video here. I used the touch screen and just, you know, put my finger on that square on the screen and it focused right on her. And then I would put my finger on the, where the waterfall is on the screen and it went right to the waterfall. It's really helpful to have a fast frame rate. You really need that to capture the action. And it's crazy what one frame to the next frame, how much different that image is. And to have that seven frames where you can just burst it and then get the gold, that's really what you want here. Just a little bit that way, thank you. In a way, I almost feel like photography chose me. It's a really powerful medium, and I think it's an incredible time to be a photographer. Shoot what inspires you, shoot what you love. Get out of your comfort zone and go see the world. You need to get out there and put yourself in those elements and things will just happen. It's incredible. You're shooting surfers in these big waves and they're having the best moments of their lives, but when you capture them in the best moments, it's almost like you rode the wave with them. It's this incredible teamwork, rush, feeling, adrenaline, happiness, accomplishment. It's, it's all these things wrapped up into this, you know, five, 10 second moment. I think that's one of the best parts about being a photographer is that moment. It's like, yes, you know, mission accomplished.